You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. And we're live. Welcome back to part 47 of Marston Mondays, where we free roam with John in Epilogue 2. We need to visit Tumbleweed again, but not for the reason you may think. I am your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. The Tumbleweed General Store has great light for photos. The windows act as natural diffusers. There is a similar effect at the Annisburg Gunsmiths, but the light up there is colder and has more of a blue cast. The light in New Austin is warmer and is more golden. Very flattering for John, even Abigail thinks so, and you know what she's like. Most of my New Austin thumbnails feature portraits from this location. Link in the description, blah blah blah, Instagram, Teespring, second channel, Discord, you know how it goes. Great, thanks. Come on girl, one more time. I'm going to keep pushing that second channel until you subscribe, and yes, I am talking specifically to you. Currently working on two series on that channel, Japanese Ghost Stories and also Norse Mythology. The Instagram is Red Dead themed and features outtakes from the thumbnails and a lot of sleepy animals. Join the Discord for more Red Dead discussion and also general conversation. You could always use another friend, and the Discord counts as going out and meeting people. Let's move on. Condor alert. John is on Condor patrol today. It is a job he takes very seriously. There's another one. John hates condors. No bird should be that big. He may be afraid of them. Let's go, girl. Let's move on. John found a camp over here. This, darling. Horses are nothing special. However, there are two of them. Better grab some of this black current first. And we should tonic up, just in case they are not friendly, like John. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Do you require any assistance? It's supposed to be. Partner? What the hell are you doing here? You better leave or I'll move you myself. Okay, okay. Ain't you serious? I thought it was a free country was all. So inhospitable. All John wanted to do was get a report on local crime. Perhaps help them solve a mystery. And they immediately escalate hostilities. John is not having any of that today. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm begging you! Also, two against one are the kind of odds that John enjoys. Don't do it. God damn it! Somebody help me! Whoa, shit! John will set them down by each other so they can talk about their predicament. Remember to breathe. Really nice setups over here. And I really appreciate this Persian rug. That's a classy touch. My compliments, gentlemen, on a fine camp. Perhaps next time you will think twice when a friendly stranger calls. Let's move on. Hey, this ain't that bad. Help me! You just relax. I might be some time. Back on the new American paint at Gaptooth Ridge, where it looks like we have an old mission over yonder. We should investigate. A loot box under the floorboards with some ammo. and the map, the abandoned mission. However, what's this? Silent Stead up north. Looks like we have some more exploring in our near future. Good boy. Good fella. We have been here before. And look at this alpine goat. We have this leftover prompt from an earlier version. Alpine goat, good. Yields a hide and grizzly mutton. Used in crafting and cooking or can be sold. Use a repeater for a clean kill. I never use a repeater for hunting. Rifles work best for John and Arthur, or improved arrows. Is anyone home?
Looks like they just left it, and they set the table for dinner. Wish we could eat that stew, like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Is there anything under the bed? Might as well take this miracle tonic. And, exactly like Goldilocks, John can sleep in this bed. And the map, Silent Stead, southwest of Rathskeller Fork. We need to set up camp and get back to Blackwater. John needs another haircut. He seems to be growing hair at a faster rate these days. Unsure what that's about. Uh, you lose the scissors in your house? Grab a seat, let's get to work. So, what do you need? Now that isn't half bad, huh? Hey, boy. Moving on. Good work, son. Back on the San Luis River, we found something interesting in this chimney. The second Elemental Trail treasure map. This was originally a PC exclusive treasure map that was released onto console. And here is our exact location. We are west of Lake Don Julio and south of the Eye of New Austin. You're okay, girl. We collected the first map at the start of the San Luis River. You will find a man hanging off a cliff. There is a story here, a Red Dead mystery. However, John is not interested. Easy. That's some kind of animal you got there. Why, thank you. Go on, girl. Shoot that poor joker down and see what he has.
We are working backwards here, I know. However, John thought it was important to show you the first map. Here is our exact location, east of the A of Coronado and west of the N of New Austin. Good boy. Moving on to Benedict Point. Let's give the Evans a clean. Not liking that engraving. We should take care of that. Next time we are at the gunsmiths. We need to go to Benedict Point. However, we are currently south at Solomon's Folly. Which means one thing, it is time to make a withdrawal from the local Del Lobo's savings and loan. Be proud of yourself. Let's scope this sentry and say good morning with a high velocity round. What do you do, this is? You can still back down if you don't want to. A zigzag approach, however, it seems as if they have yet to locate us. Let's go to work. Moving up. I wish we had taken out more of them before we got this far in. We run the danger of getting outflanked over here.
and John got distracted by this random condor. Couldn't be helped. He thought it was mocking him. Watch out for the horses. It is easy for them to fall victim to the red mist, and then John would feel sad. And finally, we have a little peace and quiet in the desert. And look at all of these free guns. Also note this magic floating worn Litchfield repeater. It is a Red Dead mystery. Gravity works different in New Austin. Might be time travelers, might be aliens. John is confused. And there is a bunch of cash in the basement which consistently respawns. Also some liquor, including aged pirate rum. The chimney also respawns and is good for a large jewelry bag and a gold nugget. John collects gold nuggets and currently has 21. And the map, Solomon's Folly, and what a folly it is. Southwest of Benedict Point, just follow the tracks. And what happened to our horse? I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. We may be saying goodbye to this American paint. He is a good horse and all, but he reminds John of Javier and the old days, and John is trying to let go of the past. At least, that's what Abigail wants him to do. On Mondays, we Marston. I'll see you in part 48. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2. My second channel that features more podcast related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I have Appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, never really was.